Prince Harry will reportedly make $20 million for his tell-all memoir. Hilary Fordwich is a British royals commentator. She joins us now. Hilary, my reaction is pure disgust. Can you tell me what the reaction has been like in England? Well, yes, and Stuart, please don't shoot the messenger here. I have something to make you more disgusted. Oh. Prince Harry has actually declared that, of course, he's going to give all the money to charity, and he says all the proceeds. Actually, he's pocketed the 20, minute, 20 million advance funds, yes. and he's going to donate the proceeds. That is, that's if it makes more than 20 million. So we also have to know that he's going to be paying a ghostwriter, so it's got to make pretty much way more than 20 million. Uh, the reaction in the UK isn't good, as many may recall that it was the prime minister and advisor to Queen Victoria, Benjamin Disraeli, the former um, British prime minister, who once advised never explain and never complain. Well, he's both complaining and explaining because what was it? What is Penguin going to do? Pay him $20 million for what we already know? Interestingly, also, Stuart, this may make you more disgusted, but um, back in 2017, he was on Channel 4. He was interviewing his father, Prince Charles, and was actually praising his father for how advanced his thinking was in terms of global warming and many other things and talking about how he admired him and respected him. He's changed his tone quite a bit. So whose truth is this going to be? His current truth? His previous truth? Which truth? And we all know some of the truths because we've seen them play out. He's got yeah. to come up with some dirt because you don't pay 20 million yeah, exactly. for things we already know. Do you think he can ever go... Well, no, can he ever go back to England? Of course he can. But what would be the reaction when he gets there, if he gets there? That, that's a very good question, Stuart. You know that he's already requested that his daughter, Lilibet, be christened at um, St George's Chapel at Windsor as um, their son Archie was. So that would mean returning to the UK. And there was talk that they were invited by the very magnanimous Queen to attend her Platinum Jubilee next June. And they want to be... Their, their condition is they want to be there on the balcony. So they want to have their cake and eat it too. So now to your point, Stuart, Oof. I actually think many in the UK fear that there would be scenes of booing, even whether yes. it wasn't for him, but the certain other person that he happens to be married to. Yes, if that happened, I'd go back to Buckingham Palace, I'd go back to London, and I would boo vociferously if I got half a chance to do it. I don't mean you to and get Piers to... Morgan. Yeah, I'll be there. Uh, what, there's another issue here, Hillary. Um, the UK and Freedom Day, I know it, they're past Freedom Day, and off they go. We just had this report of thousands told to stay home because of this app, the ping thing. What's the mood over there at the moment? Uh, well, it's actually rather ghastly. Um, I heard that Susan was talking about actually people filling up their cars with petrol, as it's called in the UK. And the mood is actually one of frustration after, of course, the 19th. You're right, that was Freedom Day and, and Boris Johnson has had to self-isolate, as has the Chancellor of the, the Exchequer. Um, that is because they were in contact, very ironically, with the health minister who po tested positive. So the mood is that of confusion, disillusion, and also, of course, Australia has just gone in, and you may know this because of your relatives down there, they've just gone into lockdown five, yeah. and that is obviously anticipated within the UK. What there has been frustration about were private family events, funerals and weddings, where only 15 were allowed when we all witnessed, most of us did, um, over 64,000 at Wembley for the Euros. So there's been these contradictions. And, of course, the bottom line has come down to follow the money. Every single fang stock has done well during these lockdown periods. There was money to be made during the Euros, but it, what it has done is it has exacerbated those testing positive because most of them happen to be males. That was a fine report on both subjects, Hillary. Uh, I take my hat off to you, and I hope to see you again in perhaps more pleasant circumstances. We'll see Absolutely. you about that. Absolutely. Pleasure. <laughs> Hillary, you're all right. Thanks very much, ma'am.